Shortly after Ryan Miley announced he was stepping down as NDP leader on Friday, speculation began about who would join the race to take his place. A couple were quick to take their name out of consideration, including Saskatoon Mayor Charlie Clark, who says he's solely focused on the city of Saskatoon, and veteran NDP MLA Trent Watherspoon, who says he will focus on spending time with his family. Miley defeated Watherspoon back in the 2018 leadership race. We have the opportunity for someone exceptionally strong to bring new energy and some change and it's inspiring vision to have that fire in the in the belly and importantly to to build the party but be able to build the trust in, with the broad public all across Saskatchewan and rural and in urban Saskatchewan all across our province. None of Watherspoon's caucus colleagues have officially entered the race. Saskatoon Centre MLA Betty Nippy Albright says she is considering it and talking it over with her family and already has the endorsement of the Federation of Sovereign Indigenous Nations. Regina University MLA Alina Young told CBC News she is thinking it over. Regina Douglas Park MLA and former interim leader Nicole Saar has not officially commented. While NDP MLA for Regina Lakeview Carla Beck says she's appreciative of the support she's received and says she'll be ready to help the party in any role that is needed. A political science professor Rajana says whoever leads the new party will have the work cut out for them. The NDP only have 12 seats in the legislature. You've got to find somebody who can reach out to and communicate effectively with the smaller urban centers and get some kind of message into rural Saskatchewan. Um, the, the rural urban divide in the province seems to be growing starker. NDP representatives from all Saskatchewan constituencies will meet this weekend and again next month. They're expected to start the process of how and when a leadership race will take place. Adam Hunter, CBC News, Regina.